At Karen West Michigan, you'll soon be able to catch a flick in downtown Kalamazoo again. The new AMC Kalamazoo 10 will soon open where the old Alam Alamo Draft House Cinemas once was. But not everyone is excited. New at 7, Brady Gillum met with the people behind a documentary about the Alamo to find out why the old theater meant so much. Well, it's behind me where AMC will open up its newest theater, bringing the silver screen back to downtown Kalamazoo. A pair of local movie producers are debuting their documentary about the old theater while the new one opens. Remember the Alamo is a film that takes place from the start of the announcement that the draft house was going to close to the final day that they locked the doors. In with the new, out with the old. A pair of local filmmakers aren't so sure. The Alamo, it, it was a very interesting place. Like, it was different than any other movie theater I've been to. Camp Bell and Mays say they were shocked when they heard the Alamo Draft House Cinema was closing. As fans, they decided to capture the end of an era in Kalamazoo. So there's a much deeper layer to the film than just, we love this movie theater. It's also, look at what is happening emotionally to people because of a business closing. A closing of an era brings in a new era. AMC Theaters is opening AMC Kalamazoo 10 in the same location. It spent a couple of months renovating the space, adding recliners and upgrading concession stands. So do you think you'll go to the AMC? Oh, absolutely. It, it's fair to give it a try, at least. Although he says he'll try it, he's convinced the new theater won't offer the same feel as the old one. And that's how I feel about AMC. They are a Walmart of compared to Alamo, who was the Trader Joe's. Now, we reached out to AMC for this story, but didn't hear back. Remember, the Alamo debuts this Friday at the Epic Center in downtown Kalamazoo. For tickets, we have a link on our website. In Kalamazoo, Brady Gillum, 24-Hour News 8.